Welcome to Makeshift Meals with Jen and Friends, where I, Jen, call up a friend and ask them what they currently have in their kitchen, come up with a recipe for them to make on the spot, and taste when completed. Am I a professional recipe creator? No. Am I a professional chef? No. Am I qualified to offer the world cooking content? Probably not. All I am is a foodie who likes to put her friends on the spot and has a lot of time on her hands. So here's to hoping these makeshift meals come out edible. Welcome into Makeshift Meals with Jen and Friends. Our friend today is Angela Dacchio, longtime friend and a pretty good chef. Take 72. 72, here we go, baby. I have an idea and let's see if you like this idea. Okay. What about a cauliflower lettuce wrap? So, Yum. yeah, like a cauliflower taco, but you don't have tortillas, so we're gonna make it a lettuce don't wrap. Tortillas. I love it, it's healthy, it's fun, it's summery. Yay. Okay, where's to be let's go. We're gonna get cauliflower, obviously. Already prepped. Oh, there she is. Okay, what's next? Okay. <laughs> Your limes. Limes, I have lime juice. Lime juice is perfect. Perfect. Lime juice. We're gonna grab, probably both in your pantry, a soy sauce or a tamari sauce and your favorite hot sauce. Favorite? But I have so many. What a rough one. You wanna see? Okay, but what level of spicy are we talking about? It's up to you. Up to me. Up to you. I'm not eating it. We're gonna go with this one. It's called Dank Sauce. Ooh. It's really good. It's made with a cactus. That's cool. And it's vegan. Okay, next. We're gonna leave the lettuce in the fridge for now because okay. we want it crisp. Yeah. What have we not grabbed? Ooh, do you have garlic? I always have garlic. I never not have garlic. I very much agree with that one. You know, it's that Italian lifestyle, baby. And then do you have any type of vegetable broth? Yes. Tons of it. A whole quart. Yeah. We're going to start by preheating your oven to like a 400-ish. 400-ish? Yeah, the number four. Let's just stick with 400. <laughs> 400. Got it. Clearly I'm not good at the actual recipe part. Clearly. <laughs> um, we're gonna do about a, like one fourth cup of vegetable broth. So no oil, no nothing in the pan, just the vegetable broth. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. You can I put some oil in it if you want. So, approximately a fourth of a cup, just a little swimming pool, just a little, a little one. Okay. Um, did you choose tamari sauce or soy sauce? Just so we know. Gluten-free soy sauce, mm. traditionally brewed, free from artificial preservatives. So you're gonna use a splashies of that. A splash, okay. Or like two splashies. Easy peasy. We're getting our salt from the soy sauce, so we're not gonna salt it. So remember that one. No salt, okay, okay. Put some lime juice, so a good splish splash of lime juice. Just a little splish splash. Just a little sploosh. What else did I tell you to grab? A hot sauce? So yeah. we're gonna do another like, you know, scoop of hot sauce, so like um tablespoon. I like it spicy, girl. We like it hot. We like it hot. It's going in. Okay. Oh, f what? I forgot to tell you the garlic. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's do it right now. Garlic is going in. How many cloves? Let's say like two cloves. You like garlic. So I we'll say two. Garlic. If you don't want that much garlic, just do one. Two is nothing. I usually start with oh. three and go from there. I'm not even kidding. That's not even a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. For real though, can I put three? <laughs> Look at it. 
Okay. I haven't even measured yet. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do two more. We just did one. What should I put the heat on? Like a medium. A medium. Because we're not it's like fully cooking the cauliflower. That's why we turn the oven on. Oh, we're gonna like fry to star and then finish it in the oven. Yes. Wow, Jen. Okay, garlic is in. What's next? So now we're just gonna throw the cauliflower in. Okay. Toss it around for like literally like one to two minutes. One to two minutes. Okay, toss it around. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little. So I feel like my electric stove is, you know, we're not cooking with gas. We're just. And then once another like minute passes, you can remove the cauliflower. Am I putting it on a baking sheet to go in the oven? Oh yeah, I forgot that one. Okay. You I have to you. put it somewhere. Don't just put it on the counter. Just throw it on the floor. <laughs> Get rid of it. I'm gonna spray it. Looking good. It smells actually pretty good, Jen. It better. It kind of smells spicy though, so I'm nervous I put too much. I feel like it's gonna be really spicy for you. And we we were gonna add the um chilies, but I don't feel like like I feel like that'll be a Let's lot. Let's do it! Let's do it! Okay. You can toss it with the chilies and bake them, or do you want like fresh freaking chilies in your Oh, I'm gonna say fresh. I'm gonna say fresh. Okay. If you do fresh, you can fresh, always Jim. scoop the seeds out so that it's not as spicy. Let's do that. Okay. Cause I like spicy, but I'm not trying to die. So like you can definitely take them off the heat now. Oh, okay. All right. They don't need to be cooked. They just need to be really like in that. Okay, it looks like they're in it. They don't look cooked at all, but it definitely looks like they're coated in the sauce. Let's transfer it to the baking sheet. Oh, the oven's ready. She's ready. She's hungry. Oh, good timing. Good timing. Well, we still yeah. need to season. Okay. I'm pretty sure knowing you, you have all the seasonings I'm gonna ask for. I probably do, yes. Um, chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, maybe some cumin, and maybe some black pepper. Smoked paprika, chili powder, we got pepper, and we need some cumin. I know I have cumin in here. Here it is. Am I seasoning the cauliflower? Yes. Right. Yeah, okay. Load them up. A little chili powder, a little sprinkle. This cumin is not wanting to come out. Okay, there it goes. Ready to go in the oven? Are they mixed around, good and seasoned? Yes, looks great. Stick it in that oven. It honestly does. It smells so freaking good, Jen. Ooh, it's hot. So now we have to get out the lettuce wraps, maybe some avocado. Maybe we can make like a salsa or a slaw to add to those in that good lettuce a wrap. Salsa. salsa! I love a salsa idea. I have a really good salsa recipe. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't really, I can't, I don't know if I have a salsa recipe, like a good one on hand right now. So do you have one that you can like even teach me? Absolutely. Yay! Let's do it. Let's have fun with it. It's not going to be the best salsa ever, it's probably. Okay. I'm like making you wing it right now since I didn't have an idea for you and that's my whole job here. You know what, Jen? We're down for the excitement. Okay, we're going to start with a coconut bowl um, and then we're going to start with garlic because why would we start with anything else? I love garlic -y salsa, but I also like it spicy, but since we're already doing hot sauce in there. I was gonna say, that'd be a little rough. I don't know, I think I might add that chili in the salsa. Ooh. If someone dared you to eat like a super hot pepper, would Are they you paying do it? me to eat the hot I pepper? I was just gonna say. <laughs> You know, Jen, <laughs> sometimes you're a little too predictable. 
Okay, we're gonna add a little lemon juice and then we're gonna add some lime juice. Now I'm gonna cut my tomato. First I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna keep the half down and I'm gonna use my knuckles. I never do this, but I know that Jen does this. And I'm gonna cut it diagonal and then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna cut it the other way. Okay, and then we have like little diced tomatoes. And then I'm gonna put that into the bowl with the lime juice and the garlic. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro. Okay, so I'm dicing up a red onion. So I'm just gonna do like a little, a little bit of it. I'm actually only gonna use like half of that because I like raw onion, but same with you. Like I can't, I'm not, it's not my favorite. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. The salsa is looking great, um, but I, I wanna taste it because I, can I taste it? Yeah. I always taste it. Like make sure it tastes good before I add the spicy pepper in it. So good, so refreshing. Mm. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut up a little bit of this pepper and then you can tell me what to do next. I'm just gonna cut up a tiny bit because I know this sucker is spicy. Okay, and then I'm gonna add this to the salsa and mix her up. And I'm gonna leave an element of surprise and not taste it now. I'll taste <laughs> it on the taco and we'll see how spicy it is. It looks delish. Okay, what's next, Jen? So I'm going to assume that let me know otherwise that you know how to open an avocado. I do. Okay, so let's get an avocado opened up and sliced. Yeah, like long ways, not like little like squares, not little. Right. Okay, but this, this is the scary part is getting the pit out. You don't, like the knife trick? What's the knife trick? So you take like a kitchen, like a good cutting knife. Not a paring knife, like a chef's knife. Yes, and you swack down really hard on it. I'm you're supposed it should to swack it? Swack down. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay, wait, it's in there. And then twist it and it should lift up. Oh wow, Jen. Did that work? It worked. Yes. How do I get it off the knife? Pull it. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god, I taught you something. You taught me something, Jen. I've never done that. Wow. Wow, Jen. Man, good eats with Jen. Educational show. Okay, now long ways, you said, thin? Yeah, that's how I like it on wraps. If you're really against that, then you don't have to. No, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll follow suit. Slice it nice and slow. Okay, and then scoop it out with a spoon. Cooking with Jen. You want me to check on the um Yeah, if they look golden, watch them be crispy black. <laughs> I would be so sad. It looks really good, Jen. It smells super good. So the cauliflower was pulled out of the oven about, I would say like 18, 20 minutes, and it looks crispy and good, right? Mm hmm So now we're gonna grab our plating device, so a plate. Plate. Now we're gonna get our lettuce wrap cup things. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna put those bad boys in the lettuce wrap. Let's see. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do cauliflower first. Okay. Just a little scoop. Oh, it smells good. Okay, cauliflower is in. Okay. We're, we're gonna do salsa next. Yeah. Top it with a little avocado. Jen, it looks so fresh and summery and good. Yay. Okay, really quick, I'm gonna wash my hands before I pick it up. It looks gorgeous. Mmm, yummy. Okay, can I eat it? Yes, yes. Okay. A lettuce wrap. We're healthy. Oh, wow, Jen. Jen, that's really good. Really? And it's not I'm too so spicy. Mad. It's not too spicy at oh, all. Oh, good. Okay. Ooh, yum, Jen. You're good at this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no, you. really, Jen. Thank you. That's actually really bomb. 
super refreshing. It doesn't feel like, you know how fried cauliflower tacos can feel like a little heavy? Right. I could eat like six of these and have no problem. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Well done. Thank you so much for letting me hang out in your kitchen with you, Angie. I miss you, and I'm so glad that you loved your dinner. I miss you too, Jen. I had so much fun on makeshift meals today. We made a delicious meal, and I can't wait to make it again. I'm going to make it for all my family and friends this summer. Yay. Thank you. As always, Good Eats wants to highlight organizations out there doing good. Angie chose the Food Empowerment Project, which helps individuals empower themselves in their own food choices and also provides vegan meals to those working in the farming industries. Angie is our vegan queen and we are so glad to shout them out for her. Make sure you check out their website for more that you can do to help. And as always, thanks for watching Makeshift Meals with Jen and Friends.